So I'm Megan Brooks. I'm a veterinarian over at Lincoln City Animal Clinic and Harry is one of the fixtures there at our clinic. He came in when he was hit by a truck back about three and a half years ago. His spine was broken. He was a stray and you know, looking at this face, how can you not say, let's give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. So I took him on, kept him as my own personal kiddo. He stayed under my desk in a little spot to keep him safe and let him heal. And slowly over time, he started realizing that people were there to help him rather than, you know, scary because he'd just been through a very traumatic experience. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. nice. yes. oh, he's got so much spunk. Yeah, they're out here oh. having fun on the beach. Well, we hope so. She hasn't gotten down yet. What's your hope? Took about a year. I was trying to find a good home for him, someone where he'd be with him all the time. Because with my job, it's you know he's a good dog. He's needs someone there all the time. Took me a year to realize that he already had the perfect home with me. He started actually telling me that I needed to take medication. So I have chronic migraines and he would come up and bug me and it's like, why are you doing this? And it's because he knew and he could tell that I was starting to hurt and he's my little nurse. He always goes up front and gives people smiles because I mean, how can you not smile at a blue haired little dog coming up just all prancy, dragging his rear behind him because he can't walk in the back and just looking for a friend. Yeah, he always goes to the office. He's got a bed in the doctor's office where he sleeps sometimes. And most of the time it's peeking out to see, you know, can I go say hi to somebody? Can I go see if I can bum a cookie off of someone? Because he's really good at trying to figure out how to get a cookie out of people. And he wears clothes so that when he's dragging around, scooting around in the clinic or on the floor, he doesn't hurt himself. So this is a hind wheelchair, so it's for dogs who can't work their hind limbs. And so his feet go in here, and this strap goes around his chest to keep it on. And that way he can run with his front legs and pull himself behind with the rear legs. Talk with your vet. You know, there's a lot of really good information out there that we can get. There's also great websites. Um, one is called handicappedpets.com and I go there all the time. There's a lot of different options. There's a lot of support for people who have paralyzed pets because it is a big commitment. And you know, there's some unique challenges that everybody with a paralyzed pet has to go through. A lot of them live to be 12 to 15. Uh, just depends, you know, for Harry, he may not live that long just because of his back is just like people you know they do have more complications but he may keep living forever and i hope he lives as long as he can wow.